Ooh, collision. Like we thought the LEDs that were working, that wasn't working. Oh, so I tried switching? Yeah, I switched it with the from the new pack and it's still it's not bad. Cool. This is the car you brought yesterday, right? Yeah. This one here? Different body or same body? Same body. Oh. Nice. I just came to the... The D4? Yeah. The D4 as well. Yeah, all these are... D this is a D4 too, right? Yeah. 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 I recognize the logo. Um, so you got this car off of um, somebody, yeah? Oh, no. I didn't get it off Nezzo, but he basically like got it working oh okay okay cool because i noticed the sticker so big shout out uh to nezo if he's watching he's been here before we've uh recorded some of his cars too yeah, super nice yeah. <laughs> yeah is this a d4 too yeah yeah right yeah, i think is this his ties yeah I think yeah this is ties. or it's ties like chinese yeah. <laughs> ebay one <laughs> or d3 or d3 it looks really sick. D4 or D3? Because it's all-wheel drive. Oh. Yeah. I glued the knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sketchy. How does it drift? Let's see it. Uh-oh. Nice shirt, bros. Alright, let's see how she goes. You have 30 tractor trailers. Yeah, together, units total. Wow. Yeah, there's my wife right there in the mall. It's my breast cancer one. Sorry. It's okay. Bye, guys. Thanks, Carl. Bye. Take care, you guys. Nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do the intro for us, bud? Again, yeah. Sure. Yeah, here. Um, where is the. Uh, oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, however you want, bro. You can just do it freestyle. I, I think you should put your shades on. I think they give you extra cool, extra coolness. There you go. You got it. Let's get it. Ready? Yeah. Action. And boom, action. Hello, everybody, guys. Welcome to another video. We're here at Amazing RC Store. And uh, we are with our good friend, uh, Nate. And guys, as you can see, uh, we actually uh, have all of our videos playing here at the front of our store. So when you come in, we're gonna be able to film your vehicle right here. And then your, go your video is gonna be put up right here at the front of the store. Boom, you're gonna be famous, I guarantee it. So come down and uh, show us your cars. Um, so here we are guys, today we're with uh, Nate and Nate is going to talk to us a little about a little bit about his amazing uh, King Hauler um, that you built yourself, right? No, my dad built it for me, but I was helping him with it. Oh, okay, so you were helping each other. Yeah. Okay, cool. But I mean, you've helped him build quite a few of them already, yeah. right? Because uh, Mr. Howell has quite a bit of trucks. Three. He's trucks. like thirty trucks. Yeah, around wow. thirty trucks we have. Whoa. Okay, so tell us a little bit about this one. Okay, so my dad painted this King Hauler like how the box is. So it's like an original OG cane hauler, we call it. And we have stock rims on the front, tires are stock. But on the back, we have these nice grippy sort of tires with the stock rims. And we are got this front bumper. Yeah. Amazing RC store. Yeah, Amazing RC store sells these front bumpers, guys. So I thought <laughs> that'd be cool to put on my truck. Awesome. No, it does. It looks really cool. Look, because it matches the front yeah. grill and everything. It's perfect. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, they're really nice. And then, yeah. Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah no, no problem. We're just filming uh, his awesome truck here. So, yeah, you're saying about the uh, the front grill here. This is yeah. uh, uh, metal, right? This is like aluminum, as you can uh, see here. Yeah. Metal. Is there a difference between metal and aluminum? I don't know. Is there a difference? Is there? Yeah. Okay, so is this aluminum? aluminum. Okay, so this is aluminum. Uh... And, uh, and yeah, so you guys painted this, looks like a metallic red. 
But there's a little bit of dust on it, so you gotta give it a wipe down. You gotta give it a little wipe down because it this metallic, yeah, this yeah. metallic shines in the sun. It looks super sharp when you got the sun on that metallic red. And here's some uh, really aggressive rear tires, right? You guys put these on separate? Uh, yeah. My dad got a box holdy, so I thought, yeah, we'll put these kind of tires on it. Yeah. For grip. Nice. They look good. They look more aggressive, right? Yeah. Looks more, more, much more aggressive on the back there. Now everything about this truck is all, uh, is stock, right? Like there's nothing other than just the tires and the bumper, and then the custom paint job. As uh, I can see here, you guys got the multifunction unit on there as well. Yeah. So the multifunction unit is going to be able to give it obviously all the lights. Yeah. And there's something on the back here that I put through. Oh yeah, let's it's see. An aluminum plate on the back. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, that is in stock. That aluminum plate here, you uh, you guys put that on separate. Yeah. It looks good though because it actually closes up that rear uh, uh, yeah. chassis. Yeah, there's a gap there. So with this plate, um, it looks it looks solid. Where can people get this plate? Uh, Dad. Was it guard? Where do you get this plate? Like online garden? Yeah. This is a Tamiya, original Tamiya. Okay, okay, then it's Tamiya. So we can get you, we can get you this plate, guys. I thought it was a, a, an aftermarket. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, guys, so um, this is uh, somebody was asking us how much do uh, one of these trucks actually cost. So, um, to, guys, to give you guys kind of an insight on what uh, or how much these actual tractor trailers cost. So, the way that they're sold is that they're sold as a kit. The kit looks like these up here. These are the kits. A lot of different models are available. You build it yourself. We have one here at the store. It's the Cascadia, which is this one here. Um, so what you do is you actually purchase the kit and then you build it. When you build it, it looks like this, right? You gotta take your time, make it look nice. You paint it any color you like. Uh, and um, you know, unless it's a special edition that comes pre-painted and then you know, that's pretty much all done. You put it together, you have the option of Purchasing a multi-function unit. The multi-function unit comes with the lights. It also comes with the vibrate, like the cab vibrates, it shakes, um, and also the sound as well. So it's a full complete kit. Now, at the store, um, to answer your questions, how much does it cost, guys? One of these kits uh, starts anywhere between as little as like 350, 399 is the average, and then they go up to you know 450 approximately for uh 75 depending on what model right um now the prices may vary i'm just giving you rough estimates on most of the kits that we sell here uh and that we do film so it's going to be approximately that much if you wanted to add the radio to it we use uh this radio right here which is the uh, uh fs i6 um we sell a ton of them we as a matter of in fact, just sold one recently for somebody that had a tank. So the uh, FS i6S, it's digital, it's touchscreen. You can adjust everything right from the little screen. That's the one that I like to use. The price on that radio is 149. I find it to work, you know, very well. So, um, you know, aside from that, guys, you basically need the, the kit, the tractor like this. You need two servos, uh, one for steering and one for the three-speed transmission. Um, and the um, if you don't go with the multi-function unit then you just purchase a separate electronic speed control so there are a couple components that you do need separately but overall if you're looking at just the kit like this something uh, very basic it's about five six hundred dollars without the multi-function unit and then you can get it looking you know like this and uh, so that's pretty much it and uh, guys we hope you like this video thank you for watching big shout out to Nate thank you Nate and, uh, and guys, stay tuned for the next one.